The Confederation of African Football CAF has issued Libya Football Federation October 20 as deadline day to respond to the allegations surrounding the ordeal of the Super Eagles of Nigeria while trying to honor the return leg match D4 of the 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifier in Libya. The African Football Governing Body had the earlier summoned the Libya Football Federation to explain why the Super Eagles were treated in that manner, spending 20 hours at the airport in Libya. And from the ongoing Under-17 Women's World Cup in Dominican Republic, second group matches will start on Saturday when Nigeria's Flamingos play a decisive match against Ecuador 9 p.m. Nigerian time and Spain at the same time will meet South Korea. Still talking football, after concluding series of training schedules, Nigeria's Flying Eagles are set for the Wafu B under 21st game against Burkina Faso Friday. In another development, with the successful conclusion of a retreat to sharpen the skills of sports administrators in Nigeria, especially staff of the Federal Ministry of Sport, the country is now better positioned for optimal performance in terms of administration of the different sectors in the sports circle. Focusing on capacity building, participants' perspectives were expanded and deepened in sports administration with a view to achieving improved performance. One of the major areas of focus, as explained by Professor Olawale Morunkola, the Director General, National Institute for Sports, is for participants to maximally use available human and material resources to contribute to sports development in Nigeria. In boxing, a former Olympic gold medalist and British professional boxer, Huli Arinsin, has offered himself to help train British Nigerian boxer Anthony Joshua for Daniel Dubois rematch fight, professionally slated for February 22, 2025, Arnesi believes that Anthony Joshua's earlier mistakes in the first encounter against Daniel are simple to fix ahead of the rematch. With sports updates, Olumide Eguntola, NT News.